Some untrained, inexperienced, or unethical agents will try to discourage you from seeing these types of properties and will tell you you might be waiting for months for an answer from the bank or lender or might even never hear back. They may try to scare you by telling you that these properties are in poor shape with all sorts of hidden problems which can turn into nightmares. There is some truth to that. But after many years of dealing with thousands and thousands of short sales and foreclosures, most lenders have set up systems and departments to streamline and shorten the process of offer review and approval. Many lenders are using online platforms and websites to display and allow agents and sometimes the public to submit offers or bid on these properties. By ignoring short sales and foreclosures, you might be missing out on opportunities. So make sure you instruct your buyer's agent to send you and show you the short sale and foreclosure properties that meet your requirements. A small percentage of sellers choose to list their homes for sale without the use of an agent in an attempt to save commissions. These days, more and more of these sellers pay a flat fee broker to place their home in the MLS and offer a commission to buyer's agents. But some of these properties are still not listed in the MLS and many buyer's agents don't know how to find them and how to approach the sellers to negotiate a commission and contract. Although it has been my experience that many of these owners overprice their homes, there might still be an opportunity for you to buy. So make sure you hire an agent who can clearly explain to you their techniques and strategies to find, show, and help you negotiate with for sale by owners. To conclude, in order to make sure you are informed of all properties, you should instruct your agent to set up an automatic search that will send you directly without any screening from the agent all listings meeting your criteria, including new, active, contingent, and backup status properties. By the way, you can also set up these automatic searches by yourself on most of the popular real estate websites so you can compare with what your agent sends you. As I discussed in prior videos, make sure your instructions to your buyer's agent are always in writing, either by email or preferably contained within a written buyer-broker agreement. Mm -hmm.